What's going on, Raider Vision? Welcome to the Women's Soccer Rutgers Newark Scarlet Raiders preseason special. Speaking of special, we got the Tri Captains for Women's Soccer joining us here live at the Golden Dome Athletic Center. Riley Haggerty, Layla Etta Yebby, and Ms. Camilla Howard. Guys, how's that for an introduction? Pretty right, good, huh? Yeah. All right, so seriously, we are right in the midst of that, all the preseason craziness, and we want to thank you so much for stopping in, you guys. Let's start with the co-athlete of the year here at Rutgers Newark, Camilla Howard. Camilla, what was like, what was like winning that award, and um, do you feel like it uh, could propel you to even bigger and greater things this season? Yeah, um, I mean, it was a really like amazing thing to to win, and, and yeah, it's gonna be um, like helpful to push me, you know, to continue. Gotcha, Camilla. She's so humble. <laughs> we'll go over to Layla Eddie Yebi. Layla, you know, one thing I think you could say for certain is how much experience you bring back this season. Uh, obviously the leading scorer on the team. Um, your resume is well documented. People in the NJAC, you're no longer a secret. They know who you are. Um, tell me a little bit about how you feel heading into uh, a new season and with a new coach. I feel very confident. Our new coach has been giving us a lot of positive reinforcement. And I think with the personnel that we have, we're gonna we're gonna accomplish great things this season. Speaking of cool, great things, um, before uh, we move on to your teammate, uh, tell me a little bit about your experience with the Moroccan World Cup team, or at least having an opportunity to be acknowledged to try out for that at this summer's you know global sensation, the World Cup. Eventually, Spain went on to win it all, but. Mm -hmm. Walk us through something like that. That's got to be a out of body dream come true. Yeah, so I did get called up for a training camp, and it was actually, I played with a couple of girls that actually went on to play for the Moroccan national team in the World Cup. So getting to play with their level of experience is very, it's very helpful, and it gives me the opportunity to bring all everything I learned back to my team here. Gotcha. Another veteran and one of the captains, uh, Riley Haggerty at the midfield position. Riley, you bring so much, um, so much experience as well. Part of why you are one of the captains of this team. Um, tell me what it's like to have a new coach and what does that mean in, as far as making this transition? Do you think it's going to affect any of the positive momentum that you were able to build last season? Uh, honestly, we've been through a couple transition periods before, and I think one word that describes the team is very resilient. We've been through a lot together, and you know, I think we're all coming into preseason really ready and excited. Uh, we were lucky enough that Nate came around in the spring, and you know, we got a couple months with him, but. I don't think it's going to be anything negative. I think we're ready to go forward. I got gotcha. you. You know, defensively, Camilla, you couldn't be any more confident, at least in my opinion, with who you have between the pipes and Katie McLaughlin and you you being one of the anchors defensively of this team. Um, how important is it for you to continue to make your mark on this team and also throughout the entire NJAC conference? I mean, I came back because I wanted to uh, um, accomplish more in the NJACs. I feel like we... Um, could have gone further than the quarterfinals. So I think we are ready to, you know, accomplish more. A quarterfinal loss, you, you get to the tournament, though. Um, I have to say, in terms of this competitive NJAC conference, and Layla, why don't you take this one? Any teams that you kind of have circled on the calendar, or is it right now about kind of finding your identity as a group? I think we're more fo focusing on that first, and then the first couple games before we even get started with the NJAC, then we're going to start focusing on certain teams. Riley, how is the cohesion and chemistry between two players like yourselves in Layla and, and Riley Haggerty in terms of uh, chemistry and, and working together? Um, how important is that? It's extremely important. You know, Layla and I, we both play in the midfield. I play as either the six or the eight, and Layla's at the 10. and. You know, I always want to know where she is. She's trying to figure out where I am. And then us two with Maria, we're really trying to build that position together. And 
we've been doing that over the past couple of days, and I think it's just going to keep getting better and better throughout the season. And finally, Camilla, you're bringing back a lot of players this year. Yeah. How important is it for you to work with some of the younger guys, younger kids that have come in? And uh, what do you think your chances are this year in maybe improving even more? I mean, we have a lot of new uh, players that could add to the team, so we're just trying to build chemistry with them, and that way we can um, come together as a team. Layla, if you could maybe share one or two other players that you think their role will have added importance this year, whether it's on the pitch or off. Um, some other teammates for those who might be new to this team to keep an eye on and uh, players to watch in your opinion this season. Definitely in our back line, say. Sawani is going to be a really great help to Camilla in the back and Julia in the back too, definitely. Riley, what about offensively for you guys? Um, Kim, uh, Tamia has always been an explosive player, uh, maybe maybe had some trouble finishing last year. Um, how do you guys put, put more goals on the board this season offensively? Um, I think it's about players like Tamia helping our younger players, such as Mariana. She's not so young anymore, but you know, I Tamia think- Tamia Howell and Mariana Valencia. Yeah, I think they're both gonna work together up top and you know, other players like Tamia and other players like Mariana, you know, our veterans working with our young ones, you know, just building that chemistry and trying to get forward is going to help us get more goals in the back of the net. I'm John Heffernan. I'll be bringing you the play by play. If you can't make it to Frederick Douglass Field, you can catch us live on Raider Vision all season long. Ladies, thank you so much. Good luck the rest of the way. Sorry, I hope I didn't make you too late to practice. Oh, We're really looking forward to seeing you out there this season. We'll see you guys next time. Remember, Let's go Scarlet Raiders!